Hello viewers, welcome back. While this isn't an official episode of either season, it's still going to be a good time. So, without any further ramblings, let's get back to the night. Raven. Island. Our first question comes from Verida from Tumblr. She asks any cast who wishes to answer, if it's allowed, what are your opinions of the host, Chris McLean? Otherwise, which challenge has been your favorite so far and we will pass this question on to Azul and Jamil. Chris is, an interesting person. We don't really interact much off camera so I only really know his on camera personality. As far as the challenges go, even though we didn't win I had a lot of fun with the talent show in episode 4. No offense to Mr. McLean, but there's definitely a few screws loose. I suppose we all have a similar problem though to agree to this show. My favorite challenge would have to be hide, seek, and run. I got to mess with Jade a bit during that one. Our next few questions are all from Kimli the Weed. The first is directed to Silver. They ask, after he was eliminated how much smothering did Lilia give you since he was obviously not too happy with your elimination. He walked in like nothing had happened at all, but then immediately hugged me. He hardly left my side for the first week and a half we were home. He tried to cook us dinner, he's still trying to cook for us since Malleus and Seba came home. All this talk about, it hasn't been us four together in weeks. We deserve this, even though all of us had been eliminated for two weeks before the show ended. I hope we are not separated next season, maybe it'll avoid some of this. We did try to all get together in our downtime though. I still do not understand why we are in separate living quarters. Are we not supposed to be interacting? And why do they make it seem like we dislike each other? I do not dislike any of you. I could never dislike young master or master Lilia. This whole show is utterly ridiculous. Come now, you three. This show has so many potential outcomes. It'll be exciting, a great life experience through and through. Perhaps you are right, Lilia. It would be interesting to see how much of an influence the producers will allow us to have. It's startling that they're just writing this as we go though, that's no way to write a show. What do you think about this whole thing, Silver? I'm enjoying myself, so far, it's been fun. Your team hasn't hit three eliminations. Now, now, boys, the cameras will be rolling soon. Let's end this little gathering on a good note. Kim Lee's second question is directed to Lilia. They ask, did you also smother Malias with hugs after he was eliminated? Haha, <laughs> how did you know? All three of them did actually. I'm only sharing this information so they feel embarrassed by the way. Kim Lee's third question is directed to Deuce. They ask him, how are you doing? Considering you're the only one from Hearts La Biel still on the show. I'd imagine it'd be quite nerve-wracking. Congrats on making it this far. It was definitely hard, especially when Trey left. I missed my friends a lot. But, I knew they were proud of me. I don't think I would have stayed on as long as I did without their support and my mom's support. So, thank you all. Kim Lee's fourth question is for Vil. What was the scariest part of your haircut, considering they did with a chainsaw? So no matter how it turned out I'm sure you still look great either way. I'm going to ruin some of the immersion for you all when I say this. But it was a wig. A lot of the stunts and most of the episodes were either done using body doubles, or CGI. Sometimes a dash of magic was used as well. Our next questions come from both an anonymous asker and small creature. Both of them are asking Ortho and Trey about their iconic rivalry, and I'm sure that all of you watching at home are curious as well. So, take it away Trey and Ortho. Why'd they put us together? I hate you so much. You're so mean. Oh no, was that too far? I'm sorry Trey. Kid's a pretty good actor isn't he? Our entire hatred was all scripted. Yeah, none of it is real. Quite a bit of the drama was to be honest, but we won't tell you what was, and what wasn't. I really like Trey. He took care of me when my brother couldn't because of challenges or eliminations early on. It was nothing. You're a good teammate. Hug. Hug. That's all the questions we have for you. At any point, feel free to ask more and we'll answer them in another video like this. 
Now, before the next season starts, we would like to let you know a few things. First, the cast will all be the same. Azul will be included as well. Now, this is an out of character moment, but the simulator we use to run NRI only has Total Drama Island available, so while the season is officially called Night Raven Action, it will have the same challenges as NRI, but hopefully with a much different outcome. We will be trying to switch up the teams as much as possible, and we will be using predetermined alliances, relationships, and personalities this time around. So, hopefully things come out way different. Now, for some somewhat sad news for Ashdown Baby enjoyers. Due to time constraints, the video for the 11th day of Ashmus, Octavinel in correct quotes too, Electric Boogaloo, will be rescheduled to a later date. There will be no video on the 11th day. For that, we are so very sorry and we hope you will still stick around to see it when it eventually comes out. The video for the 12th day is still going up as scheduled though. So, be sure to check that out because it has Ashdown Baby's voice the entire time. Thank you for watching.